God, I have literally like, this is like all nerve breaking with the whole camera oh, situation. Yeah, <laughs> Um, no, nah, well, you got a whole, you got a, all right, no worries. <laughs> it's not going to be an hour long. All right. How am I feeling about the day? I'm feeling pretty well, hey? So far, so good. Had a dip in the pool, had a cup of beer. Oh, mate, absolutely. I'm, I'm having fun right now. It's, yeah. Excited, nervous, because speeches and stuff. <laughs> Play a little bit of footy, happy. It's a pretty good day, so far, besides the driving. <laughs> oh, it's a great day. Lovely day. Very excited. Very excited for, for my boy, my man, Jobs. Good stuff, mate. <laughs> oh, that's a very broad question. Oh, God. He's the worst at organisation. Still a good bro. But yeah, very, very happy. They seem like such a power couple. He's just a bright person, mate. He has a lovely future. Full of smiles every time I see him. He's just, um, yep, full of beans. I'm just kidding. No, he's a good man. He's very reliable. I can always count on him when it comes to it. Oh, you know what? That was a great day. That was a great day. Yeah, we all caught up. First time around was pretty stupid. He, he was meant to book it at first, but he didn't. I asked him, have you booked any places? Because, you know, you need a book. I said, nah, I'm just going to wing it. Mike, you can't exactly wing. Can't just do that. So we just kind of got in there and then... And obviously rocked up to one of the places and they said... They had to ask, oh, did you guys have a booking? But we didn't. You can't just come in. You need to actually make a booking. And I told him, you need to be more organised. I think that was filmed as well, so... So, second time around, came back. Got it done pretty quick, had the choices already. Guys are pretty straightforward. Yeah, we had a couple beers there too. It's good fun. Yeah, that was just a great day, obviously. It was a very expensive day, but um, nah, as you can see, look at us. We're looking absolutely mintos. Uh, oh, that's actually a very good question. <laughs> his hair. I don't know what's wrong, but it's always like a really bad skin on his head and just whenever he takes his hat off, that's why he wears a hat. Nah, you know what? For how long I've known him for, you've kind of put me on the spot there. I, I don't think I can actually think of one right now. Yeah, you're probably going to have to give me a few more drinks for that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's probably plenty of funny things. I think he's just got a great attitude, you know. Um, I don't know, it's just one of those things where you just capture it in the moment. I want to save a few things for the speech anyway, but um, yeah. Nah, plenty of funny moments, but um, yeah, we'll save it for the speech. <laughs> Deep and meaningful. Ah. Oh. Uh. Oh, he definitely romantic. Yeah. <laughs> I could say that uh, he's a he's a good man. That's all I can say. Yeah, definitely. Oh, uh, he's very in touch with his emotional side, and he will express it. He's got it right this time. He's been pretty open about himself, so. I don't really think there would be anything he really hides about himself. Oh, look, you know, we go way back, mate. I think we, we got a 10, 11, 12 year friendship. So uh, we've been through some good times and we've been through some rough times. So, Matt, we got plenty of good times to go through now, so. Oh yeah, definitely. Up a few beers in him and it'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking hope. <laughs> as long as there's beer and food, new misses, he's happy. Oh, absolutely, mate. He's already having fun now. He's having an absolute ball. Yep, it's in his nature to just have fun and just, enjoy it for what it's worth. So yeah, he's gonna, he absolutely he's gonna have the best one he can possibly have. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> I will have lots of food, so I'll be happy. As long as there's food, I'm happy. It's, it's awesome, so mate, I'm just happy for you. I'm just gonna be there by his side. Yeah, any moment that I can, uh, that I can get to just make it just a little bit more special, I'll be there to see it through. Love you, mate. <laughs> Action. Action. Well, actually, it kind of comes with a bit of a story. We all went around and we picked some dresses for Mel, you know, so we all had our turn. When she came out, she came out a couple of times with a different, few different dresses on. She held herself differently, her posture, she was more upright. You could see that she just felt really confident and really happy. She started tearing up. Kelly was blubbering like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Even the shop assistant was crying and, you know, may have been a tear or two. Someone had the onions out. No, it was really nice and you, you could just tell she was in love with it. She cried. Uh, she walked out differently than when she tried on the other dresses. She was just a bit more quiet and we all cried. I didn't cry, but we all collectively you know, had, a, had a bit of a tear and she was, 
You could just tell before she even walked out. She knew it was the one. She even had to say anything. She, um, yeah, it was just, we just all knew. <laughs> She's great. <laughs> Bit of a bogan. <laughs> um, not, not all that classy, but very friendly. <laughs> very nice, very supportive. Is just a great person. Funny things about Mel. Mel swears that she will not dance. However, on quite a few occasions, she herself can't remember. <laughs> Mel has been guilty of, you know, bursting out into a, some groovy moves. And I would like to say that that is quite humorous. That's my answer. <laughs> That's an interesting one. Unlike any relationship they have there up and down, I think that's the most diplomatic answer, but no, she loves him and that's all that matters. Ready, prepped, face on, hair done, dress, I'm there to hold her, or if she has too much to drink, there to uh, hold a dress if she has to pee. <laughs> I'm prepped, I'm ready, <laughs> hold her hair back as she <laughs> I do feel really prepared. I'm just prepared to be there to help calm nerves. If her makeup needs touching up, whatever may come our way, I'm, I'm ready for it. Yep, we've been preparing for this for 13 months now, so bring on the action.
aspirations and goals. You are creating a home, a new home, where love, trust and loyalty are the foundation. So today, guided by God's love and wisdom, we affirm and celebrate Jorwell and Mel's wedding day. You've given me reason, you've given me the purpose, you've given me the substance to love. I went from wanting to spend a simple rock star life to wanting to spend the rest of my life with someone. Heal my strength, my weakness, and a supporter and believer of all my crazy wild dreams and aspirations. I love you with all of my heart. I'm in love with you. You are my one true love. And I'm proud to say that in front of the whole world. So my vow is simple. To do life with you. To go through everything with you. Highs and lows, ups and downs. Love you with absolutely no conditions. To be committed to you as a faithful husband. To respect you because what I have for you is worth fighting for. It's worth all the drama, all the headaches and heartaches. But it's also worth more than gold. So I know what my heart says. It knows where I'm happy. It knows where I'm safe. It knows where I can be vulnerable. It knows where I can be open. It knows where I can just be me. I cannot and will not tread another footstep forward in life without yours next to mine. And I can't wait to build this empire with you. I give you my promise that from this day forward, you shall not walk alone. I promise to love you in the good times and the bad. I choose you to share happiness with. I choose you to have a family with. I choose you to grow with. I choose you to love forever. With my whole heart, I take you as my partner for life. I love you so much. I always will. You are my soulmate, my twin flame. I love you so much. Mel, I choose you to be my wife this day and forevermore. Mel, I choose you to be my wife this day and forevermore. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. With all that I am and all that I have, I honour you. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Having witnessed and heard your vows and declaration of love and commitment to each other, I'm honoured to present you as husband and wife. Joel, well, mate. You may now kiss your bride. I get to love you. It's the best thing that I'll ever do. I get to love you. All right. Everyone give it up for Mr. and Mrs. Mazinu.
So in all seriousness, mate, it's a privilege to be standing here right now in front of UML and everyone here. I'm so happy to be a part of this day, to have the honour of supporting Mel throughout this entire process. Mel is one of the kindest and most thoughtful people I've ever had the honour of getting to know. I have known Mel for almost 10 years and she truly has become someone special to me. <laughs> Mel is loyal, hardworking and easygoing. What more could you ask for? You have the incredible patience to put up with Joelle and I applaud you for having that patience to love Joel unconditionally. Mel has always been there to support me and there for a good old bitch and a bit of a gossip. <laughs> Mel, you look amazing. And Jobs, come on, mate. No, <laughs> no, you look, you look great, mate. You look great. Mel has such a beautiful soul, even as unclassy as she is. <laughs> you turned out quite nice today, so well done. I have watched Mel and Joel's love for one another grow exponentially and continue to do so every day. I remember the night when they got together and that instant connection. You know, if you're lucky, it happens once in a lifetime. And if you're unlucky like me, then you had to come to weddings and hear people like me talking about it and assume that we're all hopeless romantics. We've only had good times together and we will only be sharing more good times together. Regardless to where you are, what you do, whatever mess you get yourself into, mate, I'm always going to be here for you. And I always will be. I know you're going to face challenges like all relationships do. But you know what's so great about love and marriage and relationships? It's about learning to grow together. Sharing, caring and a lot of tenderness. A little bit of patience, sometimes a lot actually. But I know there's nothing that you guys can't do together. If anything, I'd love to see you guys make beautiful memories from this day on. You're both incredible glow worms and I love nothing better than to see you both grow together. So may your love for each other always be your guiding star and driving force. So to Joel and Mel, Thank you for making the hard way look easy. I wish you all your best in this marriage and with, with Joel. I'm proud to be your best mate and it's a privilege to be standing here right now, so. Cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Joel Mazenew. To you and the groom. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoy the rest of your night and thank you everyone for being here. <laughs> Come on, Come on. It is gonna be a short one. Joelle, Mel, I love you both, and I wish you a long-lasting relationship. <laughs> I'd just like to welcome Mel to the family.
It's good to see a smile on Joel's face at last. It's been a long while. But I just hope you two have a long and very happy life together. I have only one word. If I see my children's happy and we are happy. I wish you all both happy and all the best. Thank you. Jobs. My man. No, you're not in trouble. Mel, I've been waiting for so long for this. You found Jobs and he is one hell of a handsome and wonderful young man. I couldn't ask for a better son-in-law, honestly. The union of you two is what I've been looking forward to for a long, long time. To Mel and Jobs, many happy years. Uh, last thing I'm going to say to you, Jobs, no refunds, mate. No returns. Finally, I want to raise a toast to all you beautiful people. Thank you so much once again. Sunset slow, hey, you know you should stay for the night. so that I can look after them. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Jobs, well done, mate. You got there. Yeah, Joel and Mel, uh, I'm glad the two of you got together. You know, misery loves company. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Continue to love each other through God and with God. And I know you two are both fighters and you'll be able to get through anything together. Um, yes, best of luck. All the best in the future. And yeah, we'll, we'll just... Be kind, be respectful love each other. You're, you're nice people, you're great people, you're good, two good friends of mine. I look forward to partying with you guys more in the future. And just fucking wing it. Wing it. Yeah. Just go with the flow. There's no rules. There's no right or wrong. You've done an amazing job today. All the work you put in, it's all paid off. I wish you the very best, you and Mel. You're both amazing people. I love you both so much. I just wish you all the best for the future and for everything that's to come. Look, I love you guys so much. I feel so privileged to be here today. I can't wait for the next few years. Um, I know there's going to be a lot we can share together and just been so grateful that you are in my life and so stoked and proud of you today. You both look beautiful, especially Mel. I just wish you every happiness and yeah, God bless and all our love. Love you guys. <laughs> Have fun and be happy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you got this. Love you both. Love yous. Just live a happy, long life. Yeah. Long. You know, and they're young. stay together. You know, marriage is when the first time, it's great for them, eh? You know, as you get older, you can't do it three, four times. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, Aaron's my name. Um, I'm supposed to be at this lovely wedding with my wife, Alison and uh, I was going to bring down Niall and Catherine um, but unfortunately due to COVID uh, we're unable to attend so anyway I'd just like to put something together I'd just love to actually share my thoughts with you first of all I'd like to say thank you very much for the invitation to Joel and Melissa's wedding it's also going to say that the establishment looks lovely and it looks wonderful I can't really say much more than that now from me to you Joel okay Look, life can be pretty tough, mate, and um, it can be very good, it can be very bad, and sometimes it can be also be very rewarding, okay? Um, you are rewarded by your merit, okay? What you put in is what you get out of it. Um, hard work, mate. No other thing. 
Anyway, my journey was starting my family, young, and my adventures was driving down a straight road. And on the way, I had to turn left down this straight road. And then I turned right. Then I ended up at a no-through road. And then I had to turn around and go back. And when I got back to the straight road, I hit a roundabout. And uh, I couldn't get off that roundabout for a long time. And um, so anyway, after um, I had to change the oils and give it a bit of a tune up, um, I then actually got back out onto the main road and then I continued my journey supporting my wife, my children and me. Um, still making mistakes along the way, uh, still getting flat tyres. And you know what? My wife was always there for me no matter what. Okay. Anyway, what I thought was right at the time was wrong. But what I thought was wrong at the time was right. So it's a, it's a hard thing to judge. You know what I mean? So anyway, look, we're going down a two-way street, mate. It's not a one-way street, okay? From me to you again, mate, communication is very important in any relationship. It's something that I've learned. Um, it's extremely important, okay? Say it how it is. It is what it is, you know? Don't hide it and and lie about it like I did and complicate your life. Um, you know, it's uh, it affected not just me, but everybody. Um, I personally would like to say I'm the luckiest or I'm the blessed, most blessed person because of my wife. She has stood by me through thick and thin, good and bad. I'd like to say I'm the luckiest man in the world. Alison hated the sin, but she loved the sinner. That either way. But also too, mate, my dad taught me or told me as a young man, Aaron, you're the rooster in this relationship and the rooster's got to look after his chickens. So <clears throat> I would say, <coughs> and all the chickens would go, <coughs> but uh, anyway, I mean, we're all equal. doesn't matter, but uh, that's something that I got taught. Okay, but also, we have three girls, three daughters. Yep, yeah, all lovely, fit and well. Mm. Anyway, you're both married together for the rest of your life. Not three months, not six months, not nine months, not 12 months. Forever. Okay? Um, listen, you have to compromise life's journey together. It's not a one-way street, it's a two-way street. I could go on and on and on, but I can't about life's journey. But you know what? Everybody's journey is different. So everybody has their own opinion, okay? But from me to you and Melissa, hello, Melissa. Please start this beautiful, amazing, wonderful, sensational and loving journey together down a two-way street. Hold each other and never let go. Tell each other how much you love each other every day and support each other through thick and thin, good or bad, and learn together. If you don't understand something and you need help, put your hand up and ask for help, please. You know, we all need help from time to time. I have, but... Uh, Sometimes I didn't want that help and I was too man enough to, you know, but I needed help. So anyway, I would like to say from Aaron, Allison and family and uh, Niall, Catherine and Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. Um, I'd like to wish you both all the very best. And I hope this beautiful, wonderful marriage is successful. And um, what you put into it is what you get out of it. Okay? So there you go. So thank you. I hope you all had a wonderful night tonight. I hope you uh, enjoyed the evening. It's a real shame, but I'm going to get in touch with uh, Joel and Melissa um, maybe Monday and come through and say hello and give him a man cuddle and 
will give Melissa a kiss on the cheek and say um, congratulations and uh, wish them all the best. So it's a big thank you from me and it's a big thank you from me again. Enjoy your night. Talk to you soon. Amen. God bless.